hey guys what's up welcome back to the channel hope everyone's having a good day so today what I wanted to talk about was um, the transmitter so I have a bad problem with how I have a lanyard so my transmitter usually hanging like right here right so when I go to pick up my quad I leave my transmitter wrapped around my neck and I pick up my quad so the dirt that's on the quad especially if I fly in sand in the beach area goes all down into my transmitter so it's hindered my hall sensors if you guys never saw one of these this is a hall sensor and you can see the goop that's on that little chip right there well that's what calculates as you move your sensor your your switch and that hinders it so it rides against this guy right here let's get that screw out of there and see it's magnetized and grab that screw so this here you see as I'm moving it this wheel here rolls around and rides on that sensor it kind of goes like so and then it rides around and that's what calculates you know here's a sensor for your side to side and here's a sensor over here for your up and down so you have to go in and clean these guys every now and again if not sand obviously we know is abrasive and eventually after so much movement it just starts to dig down in there and I'll show you what I mean on this one. You can kind of see how it's turned everything to like a blackish. And you see a piece of sand right there. Big old hunk of sand too. And that kind of gets in my sticks. And, it, and you see how sticky that is? So my throttle sticks real sticky at this point. So I got to go ahead and redo all that. Tear all that down and clean it all out. So that's what I'm doing today. So I thought that this would be a good bench uh, topic to talk about. And show you guys how to clean them. Now, on a TX-16, you're just going to take... You can see all the sand that's in my radio. It's it's ugly. So, beware of that, guys. I'm going to get all this cleaned up before we put it back together. But, uh... You're just going to remove two screws out the top, four screws out the back, lift the top off, unplug your battery, and then you're going to unplug your hall gimbal. It's going to plug in just like so. Put over here. You remove four screws. If you have the the lowering plates you're going to make sure that they're put in there put back in there correctly so that's what's going to happen and then when you put this thing back together what i suggest is you do either however however you do it if you do the automatic thing do that or the endpoints i heard that don't going into your radio into the menu and actually doing the endpoints that way how we all do it on beta flight you know but in through the radio and looking at the numbers uh me and doc was talking he said that's the better way he feels like it does it instead of the computer so that's what I'm going to do when I'm done with it here. But they need it clean bad. They had sand all in them. I mean, it was just unbelievable dirt in between that and the sensor. So there was no way it was calculating what I was doing. I, I was flying, and that's why I knew I had to get this done because it was just getting to the point where everything was getting to where if I throw the stick forward, it wanted to do something. And you see in my video, it's wobbling. And I normally don't have wobbles in my videos. So, yeah, that's where we're at. Clean your sensors, guys. They get dirty.